feeling so sassy that I just wanted to throw my hair up for you like this and, you know, put some more lipstick on. Uh, not. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, I was actually kind of bored today and I decided to, you know, uh, practice my possible Halloween look and threw on some red lipstick and um, threw my hair up in a very high ponytail and I'm wearing some little um, Halloween skulls in my... Oh my god! <laughs> Sweater. So this video is pretty much going to be a video that I have been wanting to do, but I um, had ordered a couple things and was waiting on them, so here we are. Um, pretty much it's all e.l.f. stuff, and um, you know I'm a big fan of e.l.f. e.l.f. has amazing stuff at a very, very good price. So I think I only have um, an item, one item actually here, that I will not repurchase from e.l.f. Actually two two items that I will not repurchase from e.l.f. because the quality and what it did to my face sucks. So, um, mostly it's all kind of like the same stuff or my uh, mostly used stuff and most of them are going to be brushes. But I'm only going <laughs> to pull out a few brushes and it's probably going to be the brushes that I think you need to have in your collection. You can find this at Target. I know that Kmart carries it. I actually uh, just found that out not too long ago. And of course, the website. There is new stuff every other freaking day, and it's driving me insane because they take forever to ship, and I hate waiting. I'm a very impatient person. I hate to wait, especially when I want something like that. So, I'm going to start off by um, showing you guys the Elf Contouring Blush and Bronzer. And these are all pretty much like must haves. You have to have them. The quality and everything, the color payoff, it's all amazing stuff. So, if you're looking for anything like that I'm going to mention here, then definitely pick it up. And this here is their bronzer along with their um, blush. And this is beautiful um, for contouring and just a simple blush. And this is uh, $3. Pretty dark bronzer. I don't think it's picking up um, as well as I wanted to. But um, the blush is kind of like a dark pink slash coral color, so you can never go wrong with the coral color. So this is a perfect duo right there, um, you know, to contour and blush up, and like I said, it's only $3. There is no color in this, but I think this is just the basic one that they have at the store. Then I have this Maximum Concealer here, and this is fairly new. I think it's only been out for a couple weeks, and it's oil-free, and that's what made me get this item here because I don't like putting anything with oil or that's going to add extra shine to my face. One, I will be looking like a disco ball, shining all, you know, I'll be shining like crazy. And secondly, it will make me break out. And right now my face is getting better from a super, super bad breakout from a BB cream that I got in my glossy box. So, this here is in the color Nude. Um, I've used this actually to create my own tinted moisturizer. It almost comes with one full ounce, and normally you get one ounce in your foundation. So, pretty, pretty good for $3, and it works great. Sticking with the concealer, um, it's this uh, little duo here, and it comes with your highlighter and your concealer. I think there's three or four different colors. I've had this sucker for like six months. I'm not joking. I use it every single day, and it's still going strong. And I think this is in the color Glow Medium. Um, I think this might be the second or third shade, um, and I think there might be a darker one. Maybe, yes. But this here is a must, must, must have in your collection of makeup because you can highlight and you can conceal with this. I love it. Then um, there is the $1 eye primer, and this is pretty decent. I've seen this in plenty of videos, and if you are on a budget and, you know, want to try a new eye primer, I definitely recommend you using their eye primer, and it's only $1. Then here um, I have their little uh, Create Yourself um, little palette here. Pretty much you buy the palette for a dollar, and then you just buy um, the colors individually that you want to put in there. I pretty much just picked very neutral colors, which is like a brown, a pink, then it's like a neutral, like highlight, um, like nude, and then like a white. And these are a dollar each, so for the little palette and for each little thing here, it was a total of five dollars. There are so many different colors that you can, you know, customize this palette to your liking. So you can, like, make yourself a neutral palette. You can make yourself, like, a night smoky eye palette, a party palette. You can, you know, make your own palettes. And like I said, it's only a dollar each. You can't go wrong with that. Then I have the uh, press palette. I know that they have a couple different 
kind of powders, but I honestly um, didn't, you know, get um, amazed or like drawn into any of the other ones. But when I saw the pressed powder, um, I was like, hmm, I read the reviews and they're very, very good. I ordered the color Buff, which is perfect. I could just throw this on by itself. You know, if I'm going to be running out of the house and I just want to throw just very, very light coverage on my face, you know, to kind of correct and brighten my face, um, I just throw this on here and it's in the color buff. This kind of reminds me, oh, things just keep falling out. Um, this kind of reminds me of my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. Of course, it doesn't have as much coverage, but it will do if you are in an emergency situation or on a budget or you just need very, very light coverage or you're trying to even out your face. This is a must right here. I love this stuff right here, and it's only $3. Next here, I have this little um, all-over color stick, and this one is in color Spotlight, I believe it says, and it's just like a little cream stick that looks like that, and what I like about this is that you can, what I would use it for is kind of maybe to um, highlight a couple areas in your face. The camera's not going to pick it up. I'm using a different camera today. Um, but it kind of goes on white with a very light sheer highlight. So it's only a dollar. If you guys are looking for a creamy highlighter or under eye, you know, something that's going to highlight and pop out your eyes, um, you guys would, you know, definitely pick this up. You guys will enjoy this. It's a little creamy, um, a little on the dewy, sticky side. Not too much, but it's, it's a little... Dewy, I guess I would say. And then um, I've only purchased one of the e.l.f. lipsticks and they're matte. I actually like this color and I used it, I think, for my $20 makeup challenge. And this is in the color Flirtatious. It's, um, it looks super pink, like bright, but when you put it on, it's not as bright. And this with a very light lip gloss or, you know, a little bit of your EOS will, you know, give you a very, very pretty, corally, pinkish color to your lips. I think these are a dollar too, so definitely can't go wrong there. And then next, my favorite, favorite, favorite out of every single item here are their blushes. I have, you know I have like four or five, um, but I only found three. I don't know. Oh, wait. Here it is. So I think I might have one more. I don't know. Anyway, so e.l.f. blushes are amazing. Probably one of um, my favorite items from their line. Um, I don't have them all I, because some of the colors that they do have out, I already have in other palettes like in my Wet n Wild or my um, BH, you know, cosmetic palettes. So I just didn't want to buy them just to have them. So uh, the colors that you definitely want to pick up, especially right now for fall, are the color Peachy Keen, Mellow Noir, and Candid Coral. And then there's this uh, sparkly pinkish you know coral one that's like a twinkle pink this one's got quite a bit of shimmer in it so um if you don't like shimmer then stay away from that one but let me just open these here quickly so you guys can um see them i know my camera's not going to pick up because i'm in my office and everything is orangey but they look just like that i'm not sure if you guys can even see the colors but um they are amazing products i absolutely love the elf blushes and um, of course all four of these with the exception of Twinkle Pink. I don't use that one too much because it is very bling blingish. So now I'm going to move over to you know all their brushes. All their brushes are amazing. If you are looking for brushes, you must pick up their studio line. It's the three dollar line. The one dollar line is blah. I wouldn't recommend it because they're a little hard and they do shed a little bit. Um, but these definitely are my number one um, brushes and I reach for these the most. This is my number one favorite powder slash uh, foundation brush. It's soft, it's pretty big to where it blends everything in. But the top top brushes that you need in your collection are definitely the e.l.f. powder brush, the complexion brush which is what I use to put on my um, powder I guess or set my powder and then the flawless concealer which I use to either conceal or put that white stuff under my eyes the L'Oreal Lumi um, this is perfect for that you, like I said you can use it for so many different things um, I do have a full elf brush review I'll link that down below if you guys are interested but I'm just mentioning the must-haves you know so that you guys know 
And then um, the small stipple brush. This one is more uh, full when it comes to the bigger one. The bigger one's more flimsy, this one's more full, and you can use this for different things. One, I use it to, you know, put on powder around, you know, smaller areas. Two, you can use it for um, cream blush. Or three, you could just use it to set stuff under your eyes. You can use it for all kinds of things. These are your must-have blushes from e.l.f. Um, these two uh, you have to get online. These two over here are available at Target and Kmart, I believe. Those are um, pretty much older, you know, uh, brushes, but these you will have to get online. I know that these have been sold out quite a few times, but check it out. Like I said, I'll link down below uh, my e.l.f. brush review if you guys want to check out that video. Now, lastly, for the two items that I will never buy from e.l.f. again, um, and this is very rare for me not to like something else, but one is their tinted moisturizer. I have heard a lot of people complain about it. For one, it broke me out like crazy. It was too dewy, too thick. It just felt caked onto my face, so I just you know, I saved it just so I can probably apply it to my body or something in case I need it for whatever reason, but this is not going to go back on my face. It made me break out. I mean, my face just went crazy. It like went on a little rampage. So, And then lastly is this Shimmering Facial Whip, I believe. It's erased. This is like the most useless thing ever. It's like water. It's runny. Um, you guys can't see, but I'm looking at it and it's just like blah like I don't know if it's, it's face whip I would have probably used it to like you know highlight my face over here or something but when I did like open it like it just you see how it just like blah 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 like water and it's just ah! it's just so like runny it's like useless like there's like it's like running down my hand it's like uh, a chick you know, with makeup just caked on her face and a hot, hot Vegas day. It's just dripping off of you. So that is a never purchase again item there. But other than that, everything else I absolutely love. I recently bought their HD um, blush, but I have not had time to try that on. I'm actually wearing my Laura Geller Cream blush, and today is the first time that I've actually used uh, cream blush, and I'm pretty excited. I liked it. I thought it was going to go on too bright, um, too dark, but I used my um, Real Technique stipple brush and I gently just applied it and I actually like it. I think I'm going to start rocking this look a little more like, what do you guys think? Like, totally? <laughs> so, like I said, go out there and get you some e.l.f. stuff. e.l.f. is awesome. e.l.f. has affordable things. You can never go wrong and it's better for you to just spend three bucks than spend 29 or $35 for a blush and then it just goes to, um, the collection of makeup that you have that you'll never use again. I think that's it. I know I was like, blah, 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 talking like I'm on crack or something, but I'm just excited. I've had a five hour energy shot and I know, God, now I'm starting to get all hot and worked up. So <laughs> sorry guys. I know I might have just been a spaz throughout this video, but that's me. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.